hey hello in this video we are going to see how we can create a web application from LabVIEW and deploy it in a system link and see how it goes so let's first start with the gweb so let's open gweb from the start menu and have the gweb opened so once we have the gweb development software opened we can go to either to the projects in the projects tab or we can learn by going through the some of the shipped examples in the examples tab or uh, build in applications so let's go to the system link application system link example and look for the example called system link data services when we click on it it will ask us to save in a save in a file and we can create it once it gets created we will be provided with various project files on the left tab and few of the files opened in here so here we can find that this is the front panel of the web vi and when you click on the diagram you will notice the logical part behind that web vi the event structure and so on and so forth and the third tab is nothing but an icon tab for this vi which we will not use most in this example specifically what you notice here is this is the first index page when you deploy it to the server and in here you may notice that it has given a very good examples of connecting to the specific system link using the authentication details either via the link server or to the cloud and there is a few tags like boolean tag or string tag or numeric tag that can go and come back to the system link server and there is a chart which will display some data from here and also when you go down you will notice that there is a messaging system as well that's a system link message and it can send the messages between the applications through the messaging system and we will see when we deploy it how it works on the block diagram when we go a little further detail to understand what's happening it's a simple event based state machine where it starts the state um, queue message handler where it has the command and values and the event loop in here produces the various events like the events for the boolean tag change or when you click on the send message or dq message so on and so forth in the front panel and it will send the relevant data either to the tags or when you try to dq it will send the message read message to the q message handler in the bottom loop it's a q message handler the exact handler where the different states are defined we have the various states like connect write messages write list more tags so on and so forth and for each of those events on the front panel it will try to grab the data from the ui and try to do the connections and try to read and write the data to one from the system link for example when you trigger a write message it will try to send the message to the system link via the system link apis what you notice here and it goes to the system link and when you try to read the message on the other side it will try to read using the read system link message api and unflatten that to the actual data that we want so let's go ahead and build this in order to build this and show it up in the system link web client you would go to the lab distribution file full data service app.lab distribution file 
www.lbdist and when you double click on that you will be taken to here the first thing that we need to do is we need the project to be saved so we will save everything to a project a place and once we have them all saved here what we can do is we can go ahead and build the application the building will take place and it will get completed and it will be ready in this location as an NIPKG file which is NI package file or national instrument package file we will take this to the deployment location after the NIPKG file is built you can go to the system link admin panels whoever has the highest authorization and log in to the admin and after you log in you can go to the custom applications and web applications on your web client and when you go to the web applications you will be able to import your labview package file click on import and go to the specific location and select the specific file that we have packed and open it up to get it downloaded to the server or uploaded to the server and you can select the specific workspace that you want it to be uploaded in this case i'm going to use a default workspace and upload it and it will take a while to upload once that is uploaded we have the package uploaded we can click on it and get to see the actual system link is connected so we can connect to the system link via the server url which is the local host and my username and password as here once i click connect it will get connected to the system and it will show up the few of the tags that we have here here maybe when we try to change the slide board that will change the relevant numeric tag and this in turn will reflect upon in our amplitude which is read back from the system link and displayed here we may also able to write some specific thing like my name here and change it to take it to the system link or i may be able to change this toggle this to take that to the system link you may be able to see the reflections of these changes in your web application or when you go to your tags under the under the utilities and tags you may find now it has already been updated as we changed but it has taken a little while it is generally recommended whichever the data which needs a faster rate within a millis within a second or within 10 seconds it is not recommended to push the data to the system like cloud when we go to the tags we may find that those tag along with the all other tags that i had which has been updated so the my current tag is here that has been updated recently through 3.52 and aj when we go back to the dashboard we may find here that since i have switched back to the tags i will need to reconnect this application in general when we deploy to system link we would not need to do this authentication we may remove this authentication and by default web application will detect the currently loaded system link and it will connect to it once we have connector in the dashboard we may also find the message list and we may select a specific message and write some information and send it to queue up in the messages so this is basically a system link messages that can interact with another application so when we queue up many messages like this it will get queued up to the maximum queue that we have and on the other side on the other application we may be able to dequeue that to see what was the data in the first place i gave the state one and the information as a string 
just like that if i keep dequeuing i'll get the states that was sent as a message from other application and that's how you would make use of the web application for any more help do feel free to contact